Olayemi Samson is working on a piece for his latest collection of outwear, a raincoat made of plastic waste. Tired of seeing the plastic clogging up drains and getting in the way, Olayemi decided to play his part for the environment. The 29-year-old entrepreneur came up with the idea of using discarded water sachets to make items like clothes, shower caps and school bags as a solution to pollution in Lagos. I got to understand that over 27 million um, started total waste littered on the streets on a daily basis. So I began to ask myself that, I mean, where this, this waste, it takes 20 to 30 years before they decay. And where are they going to? They are flitting all around the streets. And I know definitely accumulation of all this waste leads to flood, which causes a lot of loss of lives and property. So I now feel that, okay, we should come to the rescue of this. I mean, we should, we, should, we should find a way of transforming this environmental nuisance into something useful. Once he gathers the sachets, he washes and disinfects them before using them to create his practical recycled pieces. According to a World Bank report from 2011, Lagos generates 9,000 metric tons of waste daily. There are those who are impressed by his work, but others are still not sold on the idea. No, I cannot use it because these water sachets are dirty. It's not good. It is a waste product. I will not allow my child to wear it as a cloth to go to school or a bag for that matter. It doesn't make any sense. It is not good. I can use it because seeing the pictures, it looks lovely. But it depends on the kind of uh, housing I'm using it for. But I can use it probably uh, for leisure, stuff like that. But I think when it comes to something very serious, I won't use it. He has not yet turned a profit from the sale of his creations, but Olayemi says he hopes to inspire young people and those in authority to reimagine recycling and see it as a unique opportunity to protect the environment. Vic Chege, CGTN.